everybody, today I'm going to be doing another one of my what's in my PO box blogger mail what's new in beauty videos definitely need to work on the title of that one <laughs> if you didn't see my last video like this then essentially it is products that are sent to my PO box from lovely PR companies and brands and lots of new releases and I am obsessed with watching these because I really like to see lots of different people's reactions to new products and you guys loved my last one and you said you'd love to see another so that is why I am doing this video for you today I've been through my PO box and I've selected what I feel like is a really good um, selection of high end, low end, middle of the road, new and exciting things that made my eyeballs like pop out of my head and I was like I need to put these in the video. Just a pre-warning also, this is going to be a really long, chatty, rambly video like you and I are just sat here going through my PO box. So go and grab a snack and a drink and get settled, grab a blanket, get cosy, and let's go through this together. I've got a hair in my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna start with YSL because I flippin' love that brand. These are the Vinyl Couture Mascaras. Um, can we just take a moment to appreciate these colours and also to appreciate the fact that I have no idea how I'm holding all of them at once. <laughs> there are some really beautiful colours in this collection. Now, when I heard about this, I wasn't that excited. We all remember the days, well, I mean, some of you probably don't because let's face it, I'm 26. But I remember when we used to wear blue mascara. My first mascara, besides a clear one, was blue. I don't know why, it seemed like a good idea. Looking back on photos, it wasn't a good idea. It was chalky, bitty, it didn't look right. So when I first heard about this, I was like, oh no, gone are the days of blue mascara, surely, surely, whilst I sat in my rocking chair. <laughs> but having looked at them and having seen them on people, these are not just like the mascaras I used to wear back in the day. These are definitely <laughs> a million steps up. The ones that I'm actually the most excited about are the slightly glittery ones. Although I have very sensitive eyes when it comes to glitter, I think I might be allergic to like chunky glitter or something in glittery eye products. Um, these do excite me the most. So this is the gold shimmery one and this one is just beautiful. This one is a really gorgeous navy blue with tiny little specks of silver glitter or shimmer and I think this looks amazing. I haven't tried any of them yet um, but I have to say they're not as scary as I thought they would look. Like even the dark green actually looks pretty cool and that has some green glitter in it too. Oh no that's just bubbles. <laughs> Next thing I saw was this which just looks amazing. Ta -da! Look at all these beautiful lipsticks. I love YSL lipsticks. I especially love the YSL matte lipsticks. So when I saw this, a selection of new matte lipstick shades, I got very excited. And then I noticed that it had my name on it also, which made me very excited too. We have 217, which is Nude Trouble. Ash you! How is opening lipsticks making me sneeze? Ugh. We have 216, which is Red Clash. We have 218, which is Coral Remix. We have 215, which is Lust for Pink. That is a gorgeous colour. And we have 214, which is Wood on Fire. I would highly recommend YSL lipsticks, a little bit more on the pricey side, but I feel that it is worth it if you are on the lookout for a higher end uh, lipstick. Next up is a product that my friend Ruth Crilly has brought out. Now she has Colab, which is a range of dry shampoo. They just feel very light. I feel like sometimes when I use some dry shampoos, they feel quite heavy in my hair. I don't know how to explain that. Oh, what have I done? Um, but Ruth's don't feel like that. So I highly recommend Colab if you haven't tried it. Um, she's recently brought out a new one, which is the Colab Active Dry Shampoo. So this is formulated for active lifestyles to refresh, protect, and condition gym, beach, poolside, or just on the go. So I definitely think I'm going to be popping this in my suitcase to take on holiday. Let's do the smell test. Oh, that's nice. Smells like clean sheets. Clean hair. 
Urban Decay are at it again with the amazing releases and amazing packaging. In my last video, I said that Too Faced always have fun, innovative, exciting palettes and ranges, and that's why I genuinely get so excited when something new comes out. Urban Decay do the exact same thing. They do quite a lot of celebrity collaborations, film collaborations, and I think it's really exciting and I really like it. So when I saw this, I was like, I need to show these in a video because, I mean, just look at this. So this is an eyeshadow palette inspired by the movie Alice Through the Looking Glass. Firstly, can we talk about this packaging because it looks like a kaleidoscope and I freaking love it. Ooh. I know so many people who don't like gimmicky things like this, but I do love a gimmick. Ooh, wait, is that it? Oh, it's like a slide out drawer. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What's in here then? Oh, look. It's a butterfly. Oh, and then on the mirror it says, we're all mad here. I love that quote because it's so true. So you pull it out from a drawer. Okay, so you could keep this and get rid of this if this was too bulky for you. I'm slightly sad that the eyeshadows are not here because that would just be super easy. Um, but I quite like the concept, like that's so special, look at it. And you get a little brush at the bottom which has the pattern on it too. There's a lot of great colors. The only thing I would say about Urban Decay is they always put a couple of really bright colors into their palettes that I will never ever touch. Things like Hatter, Heads Will Roll, and Metamorphosis, but some of the others are beautiful. Like this one is Salas and Grum. That looks amazing. Paradox looks amazing. Duchess looks amazing. Lily looks amazing. It's like this beautiful um, beigey cream with what looks like iridescent pink. Um, so yeah, there's some really great shades in here. And just overall, I think it's a really beautiful palette. We also have lipsticks. We have five limited edition shades. Oh, look at the packaging. It's so pretty. Oh, now that is a Zoe shade. Look at that. It's a dark berry tone lipstick. Love that. that so that one is Mirana. Oh, they're metalized. Interesting. This one is called Time. This is also metalized. This is a metallic gray blue. Now, I don't know whether this will look cool or make me look like I've been in a freezer for a couple of days. Uh, we shall soon find out. <laughs> this one is Mad Hatter, which is a bright purple shimmer. <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of cool. I quite like that. This one is called Erasmus and this is a bright red matte, so this one is not metalized. And this one is a sheer shimmer. Ooh. It says it's a sheer nude with pink satin, and it's called Alice. Wow, that is not what I thought it would look like in the pan, that it really is a nude. This reminds me of like one of the Barry M ones that, or maybe it's Gosh Darling or something, one of the lipsticks that all the bloggers went crazy for in like 2010. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I think the collection is beautiful. I love the mixture of like kaleidoscope with flowers. I think it's really cool. And yeah, I need to go and see this film. All these brands are working with the film and I haven't seen it yet. Next thing is Sam and Nick's Real Techniques sculpting set. Now I believe this was a collector's edition so you could only get this as a one-off but so many people absolutely loved it that it's now joined their core range which means you'll be able to get it anytime you want, which is amazing. I don't think I've used these ones before actually, so I'm really excited to give these a go. I really like the look of this little one on the end for blending concealer, so I'm gonna crack these open and put them straight in my little makeup brush holder. Barry M have released some lip oils. Now you guys know how much I love the Clarins lip oils, the comfort lip oils. They are my absolute favorite. I live in those lip oils and they smell and taste amazing and they last really well. They make my lips feel really nourished. They were probably one of my favorite products of 2015. So when I saw that Barry M had brought out lip oils, I was immediately interested because I wanted to see if these were as good as the Clarins um, or 
you know, similar at least because they're definitely going to be a massive reduction um, in price. You've got this one which is clear and this is Coco Loco um, with hydrating and nourishing coconut oil and smoothing cam camel camellia. This smells so good and I have actually used these. They don't, I feel as though they sink into the lips a lot quicker and they don't last as long but still for a high street much much cheaper alternative these are amazing this one is very good lip oil so it says with raspberry and pomegranate oils for super moisturizing and conditioning and again it smells just like the one in my last video that smells like those drinks that you would pop the straw through and drink and drink because it's a drink that's right Zoe that's what you do with a drink <laughs> I feel like this could be quite a good dupe obviously the coloring is it's a little more diluted than the coloring in the Clarins one but the the clear one which is probably the one I would reach for the most is probably my favorite next up is sleek makeup sleek is a counter that you can get in boots and superdrug and they have some really lovely high quality high street priced makeup. I love the stuff they have. Their eyeshadow palettes in particular I know are a firm favourite among a lot of people. I was very excited to see these in my PO box. These are part of the Matte Me range and they're the ultra smooth matte lip creams which is right up my street right now and they have six new shades. So we have, first up we have Shabby Chic which is a muted uh, dark pink. We've got Fired Up which is a dark crimson. This I think is gonna look amazing towards the end of the year. We've got Old Hollywood, which is an oxblood red. We've got Velvet Slipper, which is a muted deep plum. We've got this one, which is Vino Tinto, which is a really deep dark berry shade. And the last one is Bittersweet, which is a coral pink. Now, a lot of these shades feel quite wintry to me. They're a bit darker, um, they're a bit more autumnal. Um, apart from, I would say, the Bittersweet and the Shabby Chic, which are slightly more like pinky colours. But that doesn't matter because I also think they're great for like evening lips. One other thing from Sleek is the Whimsical Wonderland collection. First thing is the palette. This is called All the Fun of the Fair. It says, roll up, roll up, welcome to Whimsical Wonderland of fun-filled fairground rides, candy floss and pastel prettiness. Wow, that really is a very fun, playful, colourful palette. I don't know if I would use all these colours, but I feel like for someone who's quite experimental with makeup, or if you're trying to be a makeup artist, or you're trying out different um, looks and things, this would be perfect because it really is a very wide selection of different colours. I also have three lipsticks. They are the Lip VIP Semi Matte Lipsticks, and we have this one in Hot Totty, this one in Big Shot, and this one in Fancy Pants and then we've got three gel blushes which sound really interesting so the first one is Tom Foolery which is a quite a deep berry shade and then we've got Lickety Split which is a really lovely bright orange wow that will be interesting to see what that looks like as a blush and the last one is Hullabaloo and that's more of a pinky red shade which is quite cool. Now these I am super excited about. I love this scent from Soap and Glory so much. It's the Sugar Crush scent. It's definitely my favourite by far and it is the freshly squeezed sweet lime fragrance with kiwi and lime water juice and cool capsule smooth technology. Oh my god. Oh got it on my nose. I feel like this scent works really well as a shower jelly because it does smell a bit like actual jelly. Um, this one is the original pink fragrance. So this is the Clean On Me fragrance. Oh, still love that so much. God, that just, sniffing that then just took me way back to camping in Newquay. And I don't know why. When I was, how old was I? I must have been 17, 18. Wow, what the hell? Maybe I used this while I was camping or something. What the hell? How does that happen? How does smell do that? Like, I really want to know what just happened in my brain right then. If there's any scientists or students working on the brain, let me know why that happens because it's really freaking weird. I've never even thought about camping since I went there. So 
I have no idea how that just happened. I am super interested to try these. I think the formulation sounds really cool and I really like the scents and I feel like these will feel more like refreshing, I suppose. When I received this box in my PO box, I got very, very excited because I love Becca as a brand. They have some of the most amazing highlighters and when I opened it, I was not disappointed. Look at this. This is the Champagne Glow by Jaclyn Hill uh, collection. The box smells weird. I don't know why. It smells kind of like vomit and I'm, I don't know, but I'm, I'm excited that I can film this video now because then I can take the beautiful products out and throw the box away. Look at this. Just look at this. Ooh, what a beautiful palette. You've got three gorgeous blush shades and two of the highlighter shades. So this is like the most perfect thing to take away. Plus, I honestly think this is the best mirror I have seen in a compact like this in a really long time. And this is called the Champagne Collection Face Palette. I'm really excited to try that. Next up is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette. Now I feel like she may have experienced an issue with these or some people have experienced issues with them. I haven't tried mine yet, so just gonna do a little swatchy. Oh, mine seemed fine, wow. Okay, they're really beautiful colors, look at those. Yeah, I think she tweeted something about the eyeshadows not being how she wanted them to be. I'm not sure what's happening with that. Maybe she's gonna re-release them or, I don't know, but mine seem okay, so I don't know about that. Then we have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I have not tried this, ooh. So you can mix this a little bit of this in with your foundation for a bit more of a glowy look, or I guess you can just dab it on your cheekbones. Either way, sounds nice, sounds right up my street. Then we've got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Illuminator in Champagne Pop. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so this is like a cream. Look at that. Ooh, that's so pretty. I don't really use cream products much on my face. I'm not sure why. I probably should, I know so many people who only use cream blusher and only use cream highlighter. Um, but I don't know, I just, I'm not, I'm not a creamy kind of gal. Then we've got Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop Powder Highlight, which, can I just say, looks like the most beautiful colour. It's kind of, it's a little bit like orangey. I really like that. I think that could be, that could be a winner. Next up, we have some, ah, these are by Models Own and they are the Hyper Gel Polishes and they are fluorescent pastel shades which I quite like the idea of because they just give you that little bit more of a pop of colour. So you have got this beautiful like neon pastel pink in Candy Floss, got this pretty blue in Sugar Plum, this green in Cozy Posy, oh I like, yellow in Lemon Popsicle and this one in Lilac Flush, which is a really lovely lilac, but it's kind of bright and kind of pastel at the same time. I like it. I haven't tried the Hyper Gel formula before, um, so I will give it a go and let you know if I love it. Two new things from Laura Mercier. The first one is the Extreme Neutrals eyeshadow palette. Extreme Neutrals sounds right up my street. I love my neutral shades. Look at this. Oh, it's very sophisticated packaging. It's definitely not like the Urban Decay. This is a hundred miles away from the Urban Decay palette. Look how beautiful. You've got a nice mixture of matte and shimmer in there, and you've also got a handy little mirror. I would use every single shade in this palette, and actually what I've noticed is they've got a really nice selection of different tones of brown. Normally in a palette there will be like maybe one or two matte browns, and they're normally quite um, warm in tone, and this has got a really nice selection of like dark warm, um, like a more ashy brown, and you've got a warmer brown, and then down here you've got more of like a light brown, so I feel like they've really... Um, I feel like they really have got every shade you could possibly want. The other thing I have here are the Colour Dots Lip and Cheek Shears and this one is in Tequila Sunrise which is a beautiful fuchsia. I think they look quite cute, like, like you want to lick them like a nice lolly. Don't. And uh, this one is Fruit Punch 
and that's a much lighter kind of corally pink. Now for lips, I don't know how these will go down because they are quite wide, um, unless you use a lip brush of course, um, but again, I don't really use products like this so I think I'm going to give them a go, especially in summertime. I just have the visions of me like drawing this on like face paint and not knowing how to blend it properly and it looking really tragic so hopefully I can kind of make these work but they look really pretty. Couple of new bits from Hourglass which you guys know I love. This is the Hourglass Trio uh, Illum Sheer Colour Trio. So you have a highlighter, a blush and a bronzer. Oh look at that. Again Two of these are cream, so the bronzer is cream, the blush is cream, oh wait, the highlight is cream, so these are cream products, there's definitely a trend in this, cream products are in guys, <laughs> go and grab some cream products. Um, I haven't tried it as you can see, but I thought I would share it with you because if there are any cream lovers out there, then you might really like this, the colours are really pretty. We also have the Ambient Light Correcting Primers. So it says that they act as a filter to neutralise, brighten and soften light while blurring imperfections and smoothing skin's texture for flawless makeup application. I'm one of these people that's really quite bad at remembering to put primers in before applying my foundation. I do my moisturiser, I let that sink in, I go on to do my foundation, I'm like, damn it, I forgot a primer again. I really should use primers. There's a lot of people that rely quite a lot on a primer to get their makeup through the day. These sound like something I really want to try. Next up is Smashbox. It's a really large box what's inside. If you've seen my Snapchat, you will have already seen it. Ta -da! Can we just take a moment to, to appreciate this PR? This is just the best PR. Also, here's Lily. Lily Singh. Hi Lily. Look how beautiful she is. What an amazing woman. These are the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. It's almost like the trend right now is lips liquid lipstick and cream face products. That's the vibe I'm getting because th this is a lot of lip- I have a lot of liquid lipstick to get through. I just don't think I'm ever gonna do it. <laughs> so they've sent me all of their new liquid lipsticks in every shade you could ever need. This will take you through your lifetime. And Lily has also released one called Bolse, which I really like, which is a beautiful red. So I'm so excited to try these. I think that is everything. I have no more- oh wait, <laughs> I have one more thing to show you. There's always that one company that go above and beyond with press releases and more often than not it's uh, it's benefit this arrived at my house and I was like what have they done this time okay oh let me try and open this right look at this if you went on my snapchat you would have already seen it oh, I just nearly fell off my chair these are all eyebrow products from Benefit. I can't even hold it, so I'm gonna put it down on my lap now. But um, is that not the most amazing uh, press release for products you've ever seen? I mean, I've seen a fair few impressive ones in my time over the last six years, but this is just, I could open my own Benefit, I could open my own Benebrow, Benefit brow bar. Like, look, like, this is everything you could ever need for brows. We've got browsings. We've got brow pencils in every shade. We have got Cabrow. Oh, what's Cabrow? I don't think I've ever used that. Cream gel brow colour with brush. Ooh. We've got Gimme Brow. We've got 3D brow tones. We've got high brow pencil, we've got tweezers, you've got a little brush, you've got ready set brow. There's everything you could ever need to do your eyebrows and all your friends' eyebrows for the rest of your life. <laughs> or set up your own eyebrow salon. It's very generous of them. Obviously I'm gonna select my shades and probably dish them around to friends and family who might also want some as I can't wear all six shades. Um, but how amazing is that? I think they've got lots of new packaging, which is why they've done this big um, press release. So I'm really excited to try it. I'm not sure if I've ever actually used Benefit brow products. I think I may have had a brow zings. I know a lot of people who love these little palettes. Anyway, 
I'm going to stop staring at this now, longingly and lovingly, and I'm going to put it down, and then I need to find my shades and give everyone else, give everyone else eyebrows for a lifetime. Okay, this could potentially be the longest video in history, but thank you so much for watching and for sitting through that with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you want me to continue doing these. I really enjoy them also because it means that after I've shown them to you guys, I, I feel like I use them more because they don't go straight into a cupboard. I go through them a bit more and as I'm sharing them with you, it makes me go, oh, mental note, need to use that next. Um, so I really enjoy watching them. I really enjoy filming them. Um, I hope you've had a really lovely weekend and I will see you again very soon. Bye.